at this hour. And certainly we ought to at every opportunity we can stop and thank God just for being God. Amen. A lot of us only pray when we want something. Imagine if you had a friend and you only heard from your friend when your friend wants something. You start looking at your old phone ID and stop answering the call. Sometimes friends should just call and see how you doing. And be glad to know you. So I, I pray all the time. Just so God would know that I thank him. Even if it's nothing special, I thank him for being God. He is ever merciful and limited, and his seed is blessed. May God add a blessing to the reading of his word. Amen. Steps ordered by the Lord. Many of us have been able in our life to see things that to the normal eye doesn't make sense. We've seen things occur that were beyond what was in the realm of the expected. And sometimes we have to acknowledge and understand that God has a plan and man has a plan. And if you were to abort your plan and submit to God's plan, God has more for you. Come on, come then on. you can even imagine it's possible. <laughs> he said, well, I gave you what you asked me. <laughs> Many of us have had different experiences in life. And Ron Sell talked about, I have a book, I rejected stone, and in it I talk about my growing up and my father leave when I was young. I was fortunate though that, you know, God will give you what you don't have. Right. So the fact that my father left, God gave others in my life that fathered me. When I was in my mid-teens, I met a young man who was the same age as I, and he had come to New York. I grew up in New York, born in New York, and this young man was from Georgia. And he came up to New York, he wanted to go to law school. We got to be friendly a few months after our friendship had started. He was killed in a car accident. And his father came to New York and I got to know his father and his father took me as the son he had lost. And I had the father that had left me. You know his father by the name of James Brown, the Godfather soul. Amen. And James Brown and I was close from when I was 16 to when I preached his funeral. But very few people knew one thing about James Brown is that he had a faith and a belief that God would bless him through many things. And his favorite scripture was the 37th Psalm. Fret not thyself. Because of evil doers, neither be thy envious against the workers of iniquity, they will soon be cut down. Yes. I preached to that at his funeral. In fact, his daughters, Diana and Yama, had that scripture inscribed on his tombstone. But one night, Ron said, about six months after we had gone through the funeral and all, I was riding on the plane and I started reading the psalm again. And I got down into this part of the psalm. And I thought about maybe I hadn't read the right thing because I stopped at the first couple of verses. But when you get down in the song, after fret not thyself, you get to this part where it says the steps of a good man is ordered by the law. And when you learn that God has already ordained steps for you, Come on, and then all you got to do is submit to him and follow the steps already laid out. All right. 
Everybody born. Come on, come on. God has called to some purpose. God didn't just call preachers. God called everybody to do something. Everybody in here was born to serve some purpose. Now, the reason some of us don't serve our purpose is we don't believe that God can do nothing with us. 